Hi, welcome to Calculus 1 online of SUNY Maritime College. My name is Daniel Ahn. Uh, I graduated Korea University with master's degree in applied math and Stony Brook University with PhD in, uh, in uh, mathematical physics. I taught in SUNY Maritime College since 2008 and uh, I've been teaching various math courses and also sometimes physics courses. Let me give you a quick overview of Math 101. Most of your lectures will be through the learning module. So every day you will go to the learning module section in the blackboard and you'll find the videos that you have to watch and uh, you should take notes and do some uh, sample problems which I call classwork. The reason I call this classwork is that's exactly what I do when I teach this class as in person. I put a sample question on the board and I walk around and uh, see how students do it and that way I can make sure that everyone is following what I'm teaching and I found it very effective so I plan to do the same online. Now these sample problems are very similar to the problem solved in the videos so if you have taken notes uh, you, you can just see what should be the step-by-step -step procedure for solving each of these problems. Now even if you have slight mistake at the, at the end, I'll still give you full credit uh, because uh, this is just a way to see whether you understood the content or not. Uh, there's also a small percentage of class participation points for the forum, but not much. Now, what's important is that there's a separate online homework, which is graded by a computer on a different server. And because this is graded by a computer, your answer has to be exactly right. And that sometimes do cause frustration. And that's why you are to discuss these homework problems on the online forum in the Blackboard. And uh, by doing so, you're you should be able to solve all the problems. Uh, now, there is a separate link for this online homework and you have to go to the syllabus, read the syllabus, and there you're going to see the instructions for having this, having access to this online homework. Now, this course is five weeks and of the five weeks, there's two weeks for the midterm exam and final exam. That means there are three other weeks where you don't have any exams. And for those three weeks, I will have an online quiz through Google Hangout. Now, the Google Hangout quiz is a group quiz. I put a single question and everybody solves. The first person to solve it will be given full credit and they can leave early. Uh, people who don't get to solve it before others, they'll have to keep working. And there are some other uh, rules, and uh, these are also explained in the syllabus too. Now, some important facts. You must have a smartphone or a webcam to be on Google Hangout. And I have to see the the way you work because I have to make sure that you're not cheating. Uh, you may consult your notes. Uh, that's why it's important to take notes of all the videos. But you're not to have access to any other electronic device uh, other than a calculator. And uh, you're not to be reading a textbook of any kind. And because of that, uh, it's very important to have a smartphone or a webcam so I can see, your, see you working. Now, ex I expect everyone to be putting 2.5 hours to follow the videos, take notes, and do the classwork, and also one hour of homework every day uh, from Monday through Thursday. And that's because that's the amount of work I expected from students who are taking the course in person on uh, in person uh, before before I was doing this online 
Now there are additional study hours expected when you're preparing for a quiz or exams. That's of course uh, that's what happens when you're taking a course in person. So it's same here too. You have to come to the campus on the following two days to take the exam. Midterm will be Friday day of the third week and final will be Friday of the last week, the fifth week. Um, now this is for everybody who lives in the 50 mile radius of the SUNY Maritime ca campus. If you live more than 50 miles away from the campus, then you have to sign some forms and you have to email me, you have to notify me that uh, you have trouble taking the cl class, uh, the, uh, you have trouble taking the exam in person. So uh, please contact me so I can arrange for a separate proctored exam. All exams must be proctored by someone. If it's not me, then uh, it has to be proctored by uh, other people. And that discussion will be separate. Now, uh, let me give you some two things, two things, two rules for the discussion board. Uh, I've noticed that when people put images on the Blackboard posting, some people do not know how to put images into the post and they just put it as an attachment. And that slows down the discussion because everybody who's reading it will have to download the attachment and open it in order to find out what it is. So the rule is that when you put images into your posting, mostly it happens because uh, you will be like doing a screen capture of the problem that you're struggling with. Uh, that's the most effective way to like, ask questions on Blackboard. Uh, but when you put screen capture, you have to put your image into the post. If not, then I will delete your post. And, and uh, by the way, uh, the instructions on how to do that is on the separate video uh, right below this one. Okay, so please uh, watch that video uh, to figure out how to put images into the post. Also, when you write equations in Blackboard, uh, there's a virus package, so you have to use an equation editor or something like virus. Uh, also, the, the instruction is in the video below this one. Uh, please watch that. The first day, you have to put one posting on Introduce Yourself Discussion Board. And there are two requirements for your Introduce Yourself posting. First, you have to put one image into the post. Uh, it could be anything like a picture of yourself will be great, but you can also put uh, something that you like. Also, uh, you have to put a sample equation, right, uh, using this virus. Okay, uh, I hope uh, you'll be able to follow uh, everything with no problem. If you have any questions, you can use the discussion board, ask the instructor to uh, address any questions or, or, or problems you face. Okay, thank you.